find the volume of the solid generated by rotating the region enclosed by the curves y equals x and y equals x square about the y axis okay first we want to graph these two curves let me graph over here okay just a rough graph anyways y equals x and identity line y equals x square a parabola and we don't need the portion on the left so this is y equals x square and this is the region between these two curves now we want to rotate this about y axis so we need to take slice okay before i slice this region let's find the points of intersections uh, this is origin 0 0 how about this uh, y equals x I mean this is x and y equals x square so x and x square equal where x and x square are equal when x equals 0 and when x equals 1 so this is 0 and this should be 1 if you graph these two functions in your calculator you would see this is just one and one okay now we want to rotate this region about y-axis so we need to take we need to take a slice sample slice that should be perpendicular to y-axis because we are rotating about y-axis uh, here is the sample slice of small thickness delta y because this will be in terms of y so delta y small thickness delta y that means we need to write the curves in terms of a function of y because it has small thickness here of delta y okay so we need to rewrite these functions as x equals some function of y so y equals x is same as x equals y so this curve is x equals y Uh, next y equals x square is same as take a square root both sides then you get x equals root y so this will be x equals root y okay now when we rotate let's say just this slice about y axis then we get a sample cross section which will be a washer let me write over here and we have y axis so we get a washer hollow inside okay and now to f we need to find the area of this washer because what is the volume formula by the way the volume is given by uh, the sample cross section uh, this uh, in fact uh, slice this slice can be taken anywhere from 0 to 1 in this case 0 to 1 area of this sample cross section which is area of this washer a now it will be in terms of y dy this is the formula where a y is the area of this washer okay so let me find the area of this washer for that I need the radii the outer radius uppercase r and inner radius lowercase r so for this sample cross section which is a washer the outer radius is the length from y all the way to this right curve which is root y so from here to here okay this is root y this distance the x distance up to here here to here the x distance is given by root y so the radius outer radius is root y okay this is the outer and inner means this left curve so inner here to here this distance which is r that's given by this curve which is x equals y this is x but given by y so x is y now since we have the outer radius and in inner radius the area of this washer in terms of y 
will be pi r square that gives everything minus subtract the inner pi r square which is we can pull pi out from these two terms uppercase r square is root y square just y minus r square is y square now we use this formula and determine the volume then the volume of this solid of revolution is given by 0 to 1 ay ay is in fact let me write and the area of washer pi y minus y is square dy let's evaluate this definite integral we are done we can pull pi all the way outside because pi is a constant and integrate y minus y square integral of y is y square over 2 minus integral of y square is y 3 over 3 using power rule and we want to go from 0 to 1 okay pi is outside pi when we replace y by upper limit minus replace y by lower limit lower limit is zero so we don't have to worry about lower limit upper limit now one is square is one one half minus one third one half minus one third what is one half minus one third common denominator six three minus two so one sixth so pi times one sixth which is pi over six cubic units because we are working with volume that's the final answer